Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Yellow. Yar, yar. You said I, yo. I wish you could. Say, I said yellow. Oh, I thought you said yo. I said yellow. I yeah. said hello. So I was gonna sing. I was gonna sing a pirate song as a result. But oh, no, 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 no. Now, now I feel. <laughs> now I just feel awkward. Yeah. Yeah. How do I boof this son? Uh, wait, he's gonna throw his head. Ah! I, I thought he was gonna throw it out, smack me. I was hmm. gonna try and turn it. Uh, bomber boy. <laughs> ah! Can you not? I think you just have to wait for the right moment. Just wait. Wait until they're. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Damn. Dude. Oof. <laughs> this level is ruthless. Sure is. Whoa. The There's hell? What the hell? There's everywhere. It's a fairy? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh, Mia Khalifa, sweet. Mia Khalifa. Is that how? Oh, that was a TikTok song. That yeah, we saw, that right? was the one that I was singing earlier. Oh, this Mia is sick. Khalifa. Whoa. I, I forget which. Whoa, dude, sick. Nice. That was cool. Cool. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> the one that's like hit or miss. I bet you never miss, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> I love the one you where. You got a boyfriend. I bet he doesn't kiss you. I like the I liked the react the reply someone did where it was just a dude and he was in bed with a Woody doll next to his face. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pretty funny. Okay, that's how you kill him. There we go. Yeah. I see. That's cool. Oh shit. <laughs> I know in the later games you you get a power up kind of like that. Yeah. And you look super badass. Cool. Oh. Hmm. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's like, looking at Spyro after he gets that power-up, it reminds me of, like, you have the typical... I'll wait till after this dragon. Rescue Kosoko! Hey, what's up, got these nuts? Hey, Spyro. All dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. No shit, Sherlock. I had to do that to get over here. <laughs> Fucking game designers? Hmm. Will they kiss me? Nope. Nope. Hmm. Do I have to charge up and run all the way over? I guess. That's a little odd. There's probably one that I don't know about. Like, hmm. Why didn't he eat the- why didn't Sparks eat the butterfly? Kiss me, baby. Oh yeah, what I was gonna say was like, when Spyro turns into this design, mm -hmm. it kind of reminds me of like, when you're a kid and you get a cool toy. Mm -hmm. And the, But then you, like a few months later, a new version of that same toy comes out. It has like a different design. It's like, whoa, rad. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like with Buzz Lightyear dolls, I rem or Buzz Lightyear toys, I remember. There's gotta kid. be another very close here. There's like, there's like a bunch of different Buzz Lightyear toys they made. In which oh, yeah. like, they would just change his colors to like black and red. And I just thought those were sick as a kid. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah, Buzz Lightyear. Changing the color makes a big difference. Yeah, baby. Change the color on my butt. Okay. All right. What color do you choose? I choose uh, lavender. Yeah. Hmm. I'll just give you a bunch of hickeys all over your butt cheeks. <laughs> mm. Oh, I was actually talking to some of my coworkers about hickeys a week or so ago. Oh, yeah. We were talking about how, um, like when you're younger, getting a hickey, you feel like kind of like a badass. Like, yeah. I made out with a girl, and I have proof right here. She mm -hmm. gave me a hickey. Whereas nowadays, like when you, as you grow older, if you have one that's clearly visible, mm -hmm. not uh, disguised with your clothing, it's it's like okay, dude, that's uh, not work appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's like uh, I read, so I either read or heard it or something the other day, and it was like kids spend most of their teenage years. Trying not to swear in front of adults, or no, no, no sorry. Ki yeah, kids spend their time trying not to swear in front of adults. Uh, adults try to spend their time not swearing in front of kids. <laughs> and then teenagers just fucking swear in front of everyone. Yeah, go teenagers. Whoa. Well, teenagers kind of suck because they're evil human. Eh, you know what? I I could go the easy route and just say like teenagers are awful. They're so evil and mean. But. Put it in a hole. Whoa. Hold your horns. Here comes Spyro. Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork. Okay. Wow. 
That might be my favorite design so far. That one was pretty cool. That was rad. Uh, I, I think the genie lamp. What was me. your easy thing? You're not I said I, I could easily say, yeah. like, teenagers oh. are so cruel. They're evil and messed up. But Alfred from Batman taught me something important. <laughs> Hi, welcome to R. I am 14, and this is D. Um. <laughs> Not yeah, this is round again. two. No. I hope you know that when you think that you're doing a funny, sometimes you need to give people better credit than they deserve. I. <laughs> is that about what you're gonna say? No, I was gonna say um. You've played the Batman Arkham games, right? No. I love. Those I know games. what they are. I heard they're very good. I have them. I just haven't played them on computer. The second and third ones are the best, in my opinion. I think the first one's kind of just okay. Mm -hmm. Um. It, there, there was one made by another Yark. company called Arkham Origins. Okay. There's a bit in it where uh, Batman's talking to Alfred about one of his villains, about how he's not good looking, and he's like, he was, I imagine he was, he's the way he is because of his childhood. Kids can be pretty cruel, Alfred. And Alfred says, yes, but I find that adults can be quite as cruel, if not more. I think cruelness is more of a human trait. It's like, oh, okay. Hmm. That's all I was going to say. <laughs> this is from R14, and no, this is Steve. I'm not saying it's I D. hope you know that humans can be bad guys, and humans can be good guys. And don't just it. think that it was a kid. One time I knew the guy, and he was a bad guy. I didn't say it was deep. I said no, I know, it was interesting, you fucking asshole. No, I'm just giving you shit, bro. You're a shit cock, motherfucker, <laughs> piss-ass, turd, twat, asshole. Welcome Whatever. to I'm 14 and I am triggered! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say every swear word you can't say on TV. Oh. By George Carlin. Oh. What are they? Actually, you know what I'm gonna I don't know. I'm gonna just look that up. George quickly. Carlin's pretty great. Though. God, I love Was that design. Great. God, that design's so cool. Yeah, it is very, very neat. The Nino pink, burrito. The pink, uh, Nino burrito, Nino burrito. He looks like burrito. a glow in the dark toy. Oh, yeah! Oh, fuck! Doesn't he look like he's glowing yeah, he in the does, dark? He does, he does. I love that. Can we get him? Whatever. I don't, I don't care. We're just trying to, like, hit Speed up all the levels, and, yeah, we'll wrap up the game today. I want to make sure we beat Nork today. You just want to get back to Smash Bros. Ultimate. I do. I do, <laughs> I do too, actually. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I am not saying that this bat. Like, I am still loving this game. Yeah, this game's awesome, dude. It's fucking fantastic. I am so happy we played this. I'm so glad I bought it. This game is just really fun and delightful. Um, I'm more excited for Spyro 2 and 3, though. I remember um, Spyro 2 being better. Yeah, no, um... I mean, just the, the added moves you can do. Yeah. Like, and, um, like, the little shit, like the hockey game. I liked that thing. Like, <sighs> I, I know you didn't like it. I'm just saying I like those little changes, you know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'm curious to see how you react to, to it. Um, you know, a lot of people hate the fucking Mario pinball thing in... What one is that? The water one? Oh, uh, Mario Sunshine? Sunshine. The pachinko machine? Yeah, but, like, that... That I don't never know. bothered you? No. Yeah, no, we we talked about this before. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> hey, they, they, they look like those uh, little inflatable things that you see the at wavy, a car wacky dealership. And, yep. Wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flaming, two man. Yep. Um. Okay, let's see. Dark passage. All right, are you ready for this? Yeah. According to George Carlin, these are. Any ones you think we can't say, we'll just bleep and post. You Same. know those seven, don't you? That you can't say on television. Shit, piss, fuck, <laughs> cocksucker, motherfucker, too. And tits. What? what was what? the one before the last? Yeah, I, I said it wrong. Let me try again. Wow, and tits doesn't even belong on the list. That is such a friendly sounding word. It sounds like a nickname. Hey, tits, come here, man. Hey, tits, meet toots. Toots, tits, tits, tits. I'm not going to say the whole thing, because... What? <sighs> oh, my. What? Weren't you going to read what? Uh, nothing. I just feel like I biffed that joke. <laughs> I feel like I piffed that whole pit. I was gonna do a bit where I stole a really famous comedian thing and retold it, and I don't think I did it justice. Therefore, <sighs> I'm gonna fucking end Royal Goobs. Fuck you, I'm done. 